so what are we making today? We are going to be making the fish curry from the Family Kitchen Cookbook. You can tell that it's really well used because, um, well, you can just tell. Because there's some great recipes. <laughs> there's so many fabulous recipes in here. So what we've got here today is the one whole onion, red pepper, a can of plum tomatoes, and plum is better than chopped, and they do tend to be the same price as well, uh, generally, because um, you get a better grade um, of tomato when you buy whole plum. Uh, the top tip. Um, here we've got a can of light coconut milk and we've got madras paste. Um, this is where all of our flavour is and um, yeah, you'll notice in all of our recipes we don't add any salt, most of them. There's loads of flavour in there already, we've got fresh um, herbs or dried herbs. Um, which Some coriander today, it smells really good. Fiona, if I could get you to chop these yeah. um, using the bridge technique, that'd be bridge. really helpful. Um, I'm just going to um, use this little nifty tool, which is a garlic presser. Um, it's quite helpful for um, small hands. Um, it's got quite a big um, base here and you just press and squeeze. Children really enjoy doing this in our kitchens. There we go. And that's it. It's as quick as that. A little second squeeze there just to get that little bit extra. Um, in this recipe we are also using frozen fish so we don't need to chop it into cuts but it's a really useful way of, of using fish and i don't think fish that uh, frozen fish gets utilized enough so this is what we'll be doing this is two cod fillets here but any white fish is fine haddock um, pollock is absolutely fine whatever you can get your hands on really and it's generally a lot cheaper than, than fresh uh, but wh whichever you, suits you okay now we need to get the kettle boiled. That'll be, thank you. And we just need about 250 ml, 300 okay. ml. And we're going to use this low stock cube. So actually, if I can get you to do that, that'll be fantastic. So how much water for the stock? Um, about 250 ml, 250 to okay. 300. Yeah, well, let's start with 250. So, because this is a non-stick pan, what we are going to do is just use less oil. Not a little bit, but not too much. So, I'm just going to be using a teaspoon of oil. There we go. And we, we tend to measure out oil because it's not something people usually do. And, we usually just use our free hand and generally we, we use probably a bit too much than we necessarily need. So um, I find it really helpful to, to measure it out and we tend to do that with all our family kitchen recipes. Then once that's heated up, and this is a sort of medium, low, low to medium heat here. Okay. We're going to start with the onions. We're just going to cook these until they are transparent. What I'm going to just do now is add in some garlic. We don't want to add this in too soon because we don't want it to burn. Um, when you add garlic too soon, um, it tends to crisp up because it's so much more smaller. So we just, just before the onions turn a sort of clear color, uh, we, we've added in the garlic. 
So the onions and garlic are almost ready. Um, Fiona, if you could grab me the peppers, we can add those in. Start to smell really good. Plus onions. Lovely. Thank you. Gives it a bit of colour. Got the madras here. Thanks, Fiona. This is where all our flavour is going to be in. Going to pull that right in there. The next thing to go in is, if you wouldn't mind grabbing the tomato, plum tomatoes and the coconut. That would be fabulous. Can I pull the tomatoes in now? Yes. Please. Thank you. Lovely. They are juicy red tomatoes. Really nice and plump. And just half a can of the coconut, please. Thank you. Lovely. That's smelling really good now, mm, isn't it? Yes, I'm excited for this. What are we having with it today? So we're going to be having this with some brown rice. Mm. You can also have a, a dollop of yogurt with it if it's um, a bit too hot for the children. Um, it's always quite nice. I to... always like it really spicy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really great recipe to be adapted to your family's taste. Spice level. You can add as much or as little coconut milk or yogurt at the end. Okay. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this stock here. Once it's reduced down a little bit more, we can add a bit more. But for now, just a little bit. There we go. And the last but not least is our cod. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hey, do you want both bits in or just one? Um, both of those in. Thanks, Fiona. Lovely, fantastic. And these are frozen, so they'll just defrost um, as they're cooking. And that's it. You just turn it down a little bit and leave it. And just make sure it's covered. And that's it. The sauce will thicken up and it will just fill your house with mm. lots of great aroma. And you can get your rice on. This is looking amazing. I'm excited for this. I'm so excited for this. I've got a seven spoon here. It's smelling delicious. We've just got some brown rice. Mmm, mmm. Bit of coriander though. We've, yeah, we've chopped up some coriander here. And a dollop of yogurt for me. Mm -hmm. Just on the top. Give it a try, see what it's like. Okay. Does it taste as good as it looks? Might be really hot. Mm. Mm. Worth that making again? That is so good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Great. I'm going to go and enjoy this now. <laughs> hey, wait, where's mine? <laughs>